welcome to, back to Pokemon Platinum Randomizer. Uh, this will probably be a bonus episode. Um, let's see, because, yeah, last time we uh, we caught the Typhlosion, finally. We also caught Croconaw. Uh, yeah, and with that, there's really only... We also caught, uh, yeah, Vibrocon. You know, Vibrapa, the new team member. So, really, there's only... There's only one Pokemon that, you know, we know about so far. We also called Electivire pretty base, but yeah, there's only one Pokemon that I want to catch, you know, uh, with, well, actually there's two, you know, with a good nature and a good ability is the problem. And that is, well, Houndour and Flareon. So yeah, this could be a bonus episode. Um, I don't know if I'll find, you know, either with uh, a good ability, but we're going to try in this bonus episode. Um, and if we don't find either one of them, then, uh, we're, yeah, we're just gonna get, uh, we're gonna get these new Pokemon that we've caught, uh, we're gonna level them up. So, that's the plan. Um, but I do want one with, with good, uh, abilities. So, in order to find out if they do have the right ability, I need to take out, uh, Paris. So, alright, so we'll put in Dark Flosion. Let's uh, head on out. Now, also, the only, the other thing is, I am only down to, like, I think nine Pokeballs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, if we run into anything new, uh, I will try to catch it. But, yeah, it is just, you know, definitely need to keep in mind that uh, I don't have too many Pokeballs to spare. And, uh, yeah, so we will definitely be heading back to the main part of the story soon. Just to battle some trainers. You know, uh, find some new routes of progress and to ultimately, you know, increase our money flow. So, but anyway, uh, anything that's not the Pokemon we're looking for in the meantime, we'll just uh, attack it. So, yeah, that's the plan. Uh, by the way, let's look at Boo's attacks here. Because uh, I really haven't messed with them. Boo. Uh, check Boo's. Oh, okay, so he does have water good. Okay. Probably switch water gun to the first slot. Oh, yeah, scratch is actually better. Wow. <laughs> yeah, Croconaw does have higher like physical attacks, so. Okay. Alright, good. But yeah, I'll switch its moves after this battle. Okay. Alright. But yeah, Flareon seems to be especially pretty its encounter rate up here does seem to be pretty low. Um, so if I don't find one with a uh, different ability other than uh, multi-type, we will just ultimately use the one we got. Because uh, I do want to use it, because I think Steel is honestly good for Flareon. Um, definitely give it a chance to shine. Um, but it's just, you know, hopefully we can find one with a different ability. If not, I'll just go with the one we caught. You know, not a big deal. Not a big deal. So... Um, let's see. So, yeah, let me check, uh, his moves. Moves, moves. Yeah. And from here, I think I can rearrange them. Yeah, there we go. Okay. And what about your moves, Icy Viper? Icy Viper. Uh, that looks good, honestly. Yeah, those two up front. Okay. Alright. And I think we're good, so... Alright, let's just keep looking around. Now, I also know that Heatran's up here, which kind of does complicate things because uh, Heatran has Shadow Tag. So, don't think I'll go after Toxic Rope. It's fully evolved, and from what I remember, it has a pretty high catch rate, so. Yeah. I'm not gonna go after Toxic Rope right now. Now, let's see if you're weak to water, buddy. Yeah, that doesn't affect me. I'm a steel type. Oh man, Boo's got so many uh, just flat out, you know, uh, <laughs> resistances. Can't hit me with normal, can't hit me with fighting, can't hit me with poison. Oh man, it's awesome. It's awesome, it really is. Alright, maybe I'll switch out to get rid of the accuracy. Uh, yeah, probably should. Okay, so we'll go with this Pokemon. Still type two, huh? This guy loves using mud slap. Alright. Yeah, that doesn't affect me. Low kick. We missed. Okay. But yeah, 
just like the Typhlosion episode, <laughs> bonus episode, I figured I'd show this in case anything, you know, you know, remotely interesting happens, but, you know, oh my god, we got really unlucky with the accuracy here. Jeez, Icy Fire, jeez, wow. Yeah, we got really unlucky with all the wood slaps, oh my god. <laughs> that was really bad. At this point. I think I think he's finally out of mud slash jeez. <laughs> that was uh, embarrassing to be quite honest. Flinch, wow, yeah. Oh no, he's got a couple more mud slash left. Okay. Alright, you gonna miss down boo? No. Good. Alright, one more. That's probably gonna KO. Aww. Okay, you tried so hard in that fight, man. You really did, bro. But uh, it's okay. I see that. Alright. There you go. Okay. Well, I'll probably go back and heal, but uh, yeah. Jeez. That Toxic Rope was. He had some quick feet, man. He was evading everything. type you are. But we'll just try low kick. Nope. Okay. Uh, yeah. I'm a steel wall, son. Oh, it, oh, it's ground type. Okay. Well, water gun would have been useful right about now. But, uh... You know, how long is this bonus episode going to be? Uh, honestly, I think what I'll do is I'll do uh, 20 and 20 for each. I'll look 20 minutes up here for Flareon, since it is pretty rare to find. And um, I'll give um, uh, Hound Hour 20 minutes as well. And if we don't find them, we don't find them. And I'll just bonus, post these bonus episodes later. And in the main episode, I'll be like, oh yeah, guys, I just leveled off screen a little bit. No big deal. <laughs> But the truth is, I actually, you know, I tried to do something important coming up here looking for that, but we just didn't find it, so, you know. Anyway, scratch tag. Now, uh, Parasite's actually Dragon-type, right? I'm pretty sure I remember that. Yeah, because of my Parasite's Dragon-type. Yeah, you can't poison me, bruh. I'm a steel wall. Nice crit move. Nice crit. Alright. <laughs> Alright. Rage, that's actually a pretty good move. In fact, it's probably a little better than Scratch. Because wild Pokemon, for the most part, they just kind of attack you. There's no real strategy to their uh, moves. So I'm actually going to switch Scratch with Rage. Yeah. There we go. Leave Rage for the defaults. Surprised we haven't ran into Heat Train yet. <laughs> I remember it being pretty common in... Uh, <laughs> in the uh, episode that we did, but uh, okay, I guess we'll try a water gun now. Is water gun super effective? It is, nice, okay. Yeah, well at least this is easy XP for Boo up here, I guess. Yeah, so. All right, yeah, so we'll go to about like what? It's 12.28 right now, so we'll go to like at 12.43, you know, call it good. Ooh, my effects score. <laughs> It's so weird seeing a, a mall while it poisoned, you know, because normally it's steel type, so. <laughs> oh, by the way, I think I can skip this over just slightly. Yeah, because this is like the Pokemon screen. Uh, let me. There we go. Okay. Nice. Alright. Boo level 9, plus 2s. Alright. Alright. 
fire the fast, the fire the fast. Go boo. Alright, we'll try Rage Out. This thing might know like Fury Attack or something, but. Oh, okay, 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 that's fine. Yeah, plus I'm Steel, so Rage is better than it normally would be on Crocodile. Since we've got so many resistances. What? Item? Uh. Oh, this thing's holding Fury Juice. <laughs> Slay key. <laughs> Sand attack. Okay. Yeah, the accuracy drops don't really bother me, uh, you know. Because uh, even if I start missing a bunch, you're going to keep hitting me and power up my rage. So, yeah. Not really too afraid. Man, boost locked in this time. Yeah, that mud slap battle taught him, taught him a valuable lesson. Oh, effects for go to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man, that's so good. A Vexmore on the Seal type? That is just wow. That is so good. Alright. Nice move, nice. <laughs> Alright. So far we haven't ran into any Flareon. Wow, yeah. Yep. Yeah, again, like I said, it's like a really rare encounter up here for whatever reason. I guess in my randomizer sheet, I would say like it's probably got like a 5% encounter rate. That's what it feels like. It's crazy. It's crazy. So it's a good thing we caught the first one we ran into, honestly, because yeah, like I, I might have just, you know, never found it by normal means, honestly. So it's crazy, but yeah. Yep. Alright, level 10 boot. Uh, plus 3, nice, on the defense. Okay, we'll lose level 10. So let's switch uh, Icy Wire up right now. Right. Try to get him to level 10. Let's see. Here seconds. Right. I guess we'll go with Quick Attack. Uh, I'm not really sure how much this thing weighs, but yeah, we'll go with Quick Attack. Because I know he resists Thunder Shock, so. Plus two, nice, nice. Yeah, Icy Virus got some nice stats, man. It's no wonder that thing was, you know, KOing like two or three of my Pokemon here early on. Alright, far fetch. Bye bye, fetch. Uh, let's try Thunder Shock. Uh, that might be a bit of a problem. I might need to switch out this one. Yeah. Here you go. <laughs> wow. The Jack. Does every single one guaranteed have what the cheese that healed a lot more than does the berry juice only heal like 20 HP? I feel like they healed way more than that. That's the game's the game's ripping me off, man. <laughs> This LP though, this uh, this little randomizer on platinum. Definitely glad I decided this one. It's like, you know, at first I wasn't too sure because, like, you know, Pokemon series, like, I mean, it's really hit or miss. Either, like, <laughs> either yours are gonna be, you know, the most popular thing on your channel, or, you know, there's so many that, uh, you know, no one's really even gonna bother watching yours. So, but, you know, regardless, um, Regardless of how many videos of the series is getting or not, I am having fun playing it, so, and that's, uh, oh, oh, you're, a uh, ground type 2? Oh, no, no, wait, no, wait, you're Mawile. I knew you were ground type. 
I just forgot. <laughs> but uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Some some Pokemon series, it's hard to break through as like a person to, who plays, you know, strictly Pokemon on your list, please. Because I don't know, like especially like like there's so many Pokemon YouTubers, and they trust me. Any of their videos are gonna sound and look way more professional than any of mine. So, it's just like, yeah, you know, I don't really. <laughs> like, there's just logically, there's no way I can compete with that. And some of them also have been doing this for a long, long time. So, uh, but you know, that doesn't even matter to me at this point because I, the biggest thing is I'm having fun doing this. And uh, yeah, so. We're gonna keep doing it. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm already paralyzed, son. I can't chirp the stamp with those All right, well, we are almost at uh, 1235. So, and still no Flareons. So, and we've been here since the start of the episode. Um, yeah, that's exactly why this is a bonus episode, because, yeah, we may not even run into one Flareon this whole time up here. That's crazy. Uh, but yeah, like I said, if that's the case, we'll just we'll just go with the one we got, man. You know what? Not even gonna worry about it. All right. At least Isobiter doesn't seem to be getting paralyzed. You know, uh, unable to move due to paralysis. Oh, I jinxed it. Sorry. Sorry, Isobiter. Sorry. I I should have said anything. You were doing good, buddy. You were doing good. <laughs> yeah, but, and overall, we have had some funny moments already in this randomizer, too, you know, which is pretty cool. So. <laughs> yeah, and lately I've been putting up a lot of shorts of the, uh, you know, the Pokedex entries. You guys seem to like those. Uh, well, I, in fact, I don't even know if you guys watch them or just people in general like the Dexter voice, but yeah, I've been doing shorts of those, and like some of the shorts, uh, the view counts on them are, you know, I mean, it's nothing like, it's nothing in the tens of thousands, but you know, compared to everything else I do on this channel, uh, yeah, I think the Boltmix, uh, the short I did for Boltmix, uh, with the Dexter voice, that thing's at like 700 views right now, which is, it's crazy, you know, so... Yeah, that's why I've been, if you've been wondering, like, oh, why does he keep posting more of the shorts for the Pokedex entries? Like, that's why. That's why. It's, cause, it's just because, like, you know, at first I just did, you know, one or two just to see, like, eh, you know, whatever. I'll put this on. Because I did the Dexter voice. And the first one I did was, like, the Volpex one. And then, like, it just skyrocketed to 500 views uh, for the first day, which I don't know if that's good for shorts or not. But, I mean, <laughs> compared to, you know... The view count, uh, the, the average view count of a video on this channel, that's like really, really good. So that's why I was just like, you know what? Every once in a while, I'll keep doing them. I mean, because, yeah. <laughs> Whoever's watching them seems to like them, so why not do it? And, and I, <laughs> I do the Dexter voice in it. And, and it was funny, the first time I decided to do the Dexter voice in the video, I was just like, should I do this in the Dexter voice? Sure, why not? You know, I just kind of did it on a whim. Like now it's you know so yeah I might as well keep doing it if you guys uh, like it so but uh, anyway <laughs> yep yeah. yeah another video that's actually doing you know pretty well on my channel you know doing really well compared to you know the average video is uh, the finale actually of uh yeah Pokemon the trading card game uh, you know, the average the amount of views I got, you know, during these that series was like, eh, you know, about 20 to 25 views per video, which, you know, we've only got like two, 200 subscribers or so on this channel, which, so that's, you know, that's typical, but like the finale of that, of a uh, Pokemon trading card game, uh, you know, where we fight uh, Rod and... <laughs> Rod and um, uh, Ronald for the final time. Yeah, the finale of that's up to like uh, six or seven hundred views, and I was like, holy crap! You know, like that's uh, yeah, yeah. And I was talking about it in the finale. I was just like, yeah, you know, uh, maybe I should play Pokemon Trading Card Game too. You know, maybe I'll play it like four or five years in the future. But I saw like I'm just, I'm, I keep seeing the views for that going up, and I'm just like, man, 
I don't know. I, like I said, I, I plan to just take a, a break from a Pokemon trading card game, you know, for a while after the finale. Because I didn't think the finale would get that many views, to be honest. But, um, uh, yeah, Cena is all, you know, there's, there appears to be interest in it. You know, maybe I should go ahead and start Pokemon trading card game, too. After, you know, maybe like at the start of August. Maybe. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm still... You know, we, we, we got a lot of series still going on, a lot of different ones, so I'm, I'm, I'm still I'm still rattling around in my head, you know, but, uh, I mean, well, let me just say it this way, like, let's say, like, when does school start about August 20th? If by the 20th of August, that video's to a thousand views, I, I think it just makes sense for me to just go ahead and start working on training art game two. It ever, in fact, if it ever reaches a thousand views, like, obviously there's enough interest in it, so I should probably, you know, start a uh, trading card game too, regardless if I hear feedback, you know, if it gets to like, I mean, even, even like 800, 900 views is a really good amount for my channel. Uh, yeah, Anna Riz, okay, well this is one Pokemon we could try to catch, um, that we haven't yet. Should I, or should I keep looking for Flareon? Honestly, I don't even know what this thing's catch rate is, because normally it's a fossil you get. Um, hmm. Well, if we get it, like, you know, with 1 HP, and he is using Harden a lot, so there's a good chance that'll happen. But yeah, if we get this thing to 1 HP, I will try a couple po uh, Pokeballs on it, and, uh, yeah, we'll put it to sleep and stuff, but, but, uh, yeah, yeah. Yep, Pokemon trading card game. Doing pretty good right now, so uh, yeah, keep an eye on that. And I guess if you happen to be watching this video and you're, you know, you're you're a fan of my channel or you're subscribed to the channel, or whatever, yeah, let me know. Like, uh, what do you guys think as far as uh, you know, Pokemon the Trading Card Game Two? Um, yeah, because there, there's a translation patch. Like, it only came out in Japan, but there's a translation patch for the ROM, so. And I'm able to play it, so and I've already tested it. And the translation patch, there are like one or two things that are, you know, kind of like badly translated. But for the most part, I can understand how the game works and like how to how to do everything. So as far as adjusting your deck, which that's the main thing. So, but yeah, if you guys happen to be having to watch this, yeah, let me know. Like uh, Pokemon trading card game, you know, to start it now or no? Yes or no? You know. Because, you know, uh, like I said in the finale, eventually I'm going to LP that game anyway. It's just a matter of, oh, okay, we got it. Uh, it as if, you know, we're going to do it, you know, quicker or later. Anyway, Dexter voice time. Anarith, the old trim Pokemon, a Pokemon ancestor that was reanimated from a fossil. It lived in the sea and hunted with claws. Oh, it has Paris as a type. That's actually really terrible. Um, we'll give it a nickname. I guess it, Armaldo is normally bug type, isn't it? Um, but we're gonna call you... Yeah, because this is Paris's type, which means I probably won't be using it, but, uh... Uh... Ooh. That actually sounds like a good name. Paror... If. Ah, nice. Um, I guess let's go back and check this thing's, and I kind of need to heal the paralysis anyway. But yeah, let's check this thing's, uh, ability. I don't know, maybe it has, like, a really good ability, but I don't really see me using that. Uh, I mean, because it's quad weak to fire and quad weak to flying. It also has, like, a, a whole other slew of weaknesses. Uh, yeah, so, but, uh, let's see. Let's just take a look. Let's just take a look. You never know. You never know. I mean, Electivire's got quad weaknesses, too, and we're using it. Um, serious nature? Intimidate. Right, right, right. Okay. Um, honestly, I don't think I'm gonna... We'll just, we'll just put it down here for now. I'm gonna definitely think it over. I mean, Armaldo is a cool Pokemon. Don't get me wrong, Armaldo's badass. He looks badass because he is a badass, but... Like, man, that's that's a pretty unfortunate type to get. Yeah. Alright guys, well, we only got two minutes left for the bonus episode. And, uh, yes, we still have to ram to any Flareon, so...
again, we may just may just say, hey, you know what? We're gonna go with the one we got. Uh, locate. Alright. Isn't this thing water type? Does it, doesn't it have stab? Well, no, no. Maybe it's, uh, I forgot. Didn't we catch one? Uh, anyway. <laughs> Looks like Icy Fire is about to catch up with, uh, with Croconaut, so that's good. With Boo. Alright. Plus three? Plus two. Nice. Yeah, this thing's got good stats. Alright, one more minute, Flareon. If you want to be on the team, you have to come out. Come out and play. Alright, we'll go with Quick Attack. Fake Tears. I don't think you even have any special moves, do you? Um, I guess the Crunch was a special move in uh, Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, so... I guess Fake Tears was kind of a lot better on uh, Mawa, because once once you get Crunch or Bite, yeah, that's actually a pretty good combo. Fake Tears plus, you know, Crunch or Bite. Yeah, it's actually pretty good. Plus it's Steel, you know. Steel is pretty good, you know, so. Mawa seems to have, like, probably the encounter rate of, uh, <laughs> it almost has the encounter rate of, like, Wormpool or, you know, or like Centred or, or Radita, in any early game. I guess it would be the... Mawal basically has the encounter rate of... Uh, uh, what's the uh, the beaver Pokemon you find in this game? Uh, not the Barrel. It's uh, it's the pre-evolved form. Right? Beedoof. Yeah, Beedoof. Beedoof. Yeah, Mawal's definitely got the Beedoof encounter rate. <laughs> for sure. Because we ran into more of that than anything in this bonus episode. But I wish Flareon had that encounter rate. But Flareon seems to have the encounter rate of like... You know. Uh, what's normally rare up here? Uh, actually, everything seems to be pretty common up here. Uh, for this route. But, uh... Yeah, normally you can find like opponents out here and stuff too. Uh... Okay, well it is 1245, so... Guys, I think that's... We're just gonna have to go with the, uh... The Flareon we got, because, uh, yeah, we didn't find one in, like, 20 minutes. <laughs> so, you know, yeah, not too exciting of a bonus episode, but either way, you know, you never know. You never know what you can run into. Also, we haven't ran into any Heatran, which I guess is kind of good, because those do have Shadow Tag, but, yeah, like, neither one of those, uh, we ran into here, so, kind of crazy. But I'll run into, like, one last Pokemon, and that'll be it, man. Uh... Barbar. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. So, yeah, we'll just go with the Flareon we got, I guess, with multi type and uh, try to raise it up. Yep. Alright. Hmm. Yep. So, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Hope you guys like this bonus episode. Uh, this is really just more of a vlog, you know, a vlog about Pokemon the trading card game. <laughs> really, that's really what it is. But uh, yeah, let me let me know if you watched this bonus episode. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts. Uh, Pokemon Trading Card Game Two started uh, soon? Yes or no? You know, and by soon I mean like you know soon, soon. Like you know probably like August first or so. Um, but if not, yeah, I will. Uh, yeah, just you know wait till like I said, wait till the views go past thousand on that and then I'll probably just start it anyway or uh, you know you know wait like a month or two and go ahead and give it a start all right guys well uh, next bonus episode we are going to actually head down south here to the Oreburn mine and see if we can find a hound hour that does not have a plus or minus or whatever it has so uh, yeah thank you guys for joining me and actually you know what just to make things a little easier on myself gonna head to the mine right now and we'll save inside the mine so because everyone's healed right yeah okay get up here boo all right but i'll see you guys in just a few minutes in the next bonus episode all right down to the mine and i'm pretty sure it's in the second room here okay what's this victory bell yeah we've caught you already aren't you water type Let's, uh, let's find out if you are. Let's switch to... Mm -hmm. 
Hill. Let the fire. Yeah. Let's see if my thunder shock's super effective. So let's save here. All right. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.